countered by Vice into another submission. Perez shifts, shoulders yeah. down, and she got the win. Wow. Here is your win. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. So let's talk about this hot, spicy Latina battle between Roxanne Perez and Lola Vice with uh, Alexa Lopez ringside. This is, man, I was ready for this match, bro. I was ready for this one because I had never seen Lola Vice and Roxanne Perez actually fight in the ring before. So, obviously, that was going to be very interesting. Um, and they're both, they're both kind of short, you know, short in height. So, I was also, um, you know, interested to see, um, like, how they'll go in the ring. Because I know they don't probably have a lot of chemistry because, you know, um, they haven't really wrestled like that. This is one of those matches, honestly, that I would have let have seen on um, Level Up. I would have actually looked. Because I know on Level Up, they gave them a little bit. They gave them some decent time. I think it was like four minutes that they gave them. A little over four minutes. But, um... Usually on level up, they get about five to six minutes. And so I would have actually loved to have seen some, some things in here, which is pretty good. So, um, but yeah, man, um, yeah, let, let, let's see, let's see, let's see what she does. Let's see what she did in this one, man. Let's see what she did in this one. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'll probably just go over the whole match. Okay. So both women traded wrist holes. Perez got a series of near falls on Vice. Vice tripped uh, Perez to a block and old school. Um, Vice worked on Perez with a few rest holes. Vice hit Perez with an axe kick. Vice hit Perez with a sacrifice uh, arm breaker for a two count. Vice reversed a leg sweep into a grounded hammer hop, hammer lock. Perez rolled out and gave Vice a series of short arm right hands. Um, Booker noted that Vice is a former Bellator MMA fighter, and I'm glad they finally actually went over that she was a Bellator. You know what I mean? Not that she, you know, because they went over in a level up that she came from an MMA background before. But I think Byron Saxon maybe said it on NXT level up, like around the time when she first came. But um, you know, I'm glad that they reiterated it because this is a different audience. If an audience on NXT on USA, you know, they probably some of them probably don't watch level up because you need Peacock for it, but. Uh, I got other ways that I watch it without watching it on Peacock, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Um, so Perez escaped and gave Vice uh, Vice a senton, uh, seat at Centon. Perez gave Vice a shotgun, a shotgun uh, drop kick. Perez gave Vice uh, the 10 punches in the corner. Vice escaped and tripped Perez. Perez dodged a spinning roundhouse. Vice escaped Pop Rocks. And Vice uh, tried to put Perez in an uh, arm submission. But Perez rolled up Vice for the victory, and that was all she wrote for Lola Vice. And like I said, about four minutes and 20 seconds, they went in this one. So Roxanne Perez got the win. And uh, let's go over the poll to see how this went. My only con in this match is that um, we didn't get a chance to see too many of the kicks that we usually see from Lola Vice. I think we need to see that a little bit more in her matches, man. Because like, that's where she excels as those kicks, bro. Uh, I wanted to see a little bit more with that. But um, still pretty good. I love the um, cause it looked like it looked like Roxanne Perez got a real uh injury on her um, um her upper uh her upper arm somewhere on her muscle. Like it was looking kind of bruised up when she was talking to Becky. We're gonna talk about that in the next video, by the way. Uh, her conversation with Becky, but it looked kind of bruised up a little bit. But let's talk about this poll. Four hundred eighty six votes, forty two likes. Man, this is a land. I remember looking at this early. I was like, damn. Almost 90% for uh, Roxanne Perez. 89% of the time I'm doing this video. Lola Vice was only 11%. I mean, Lola Vice could have got a little bit more respect there. Come on. She had Alexa Lopez ringside. So, <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised by that. But thank y'all for voting, though. Um, I will say this, though. Um, as far as the way the match went, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say too much because I want to see if they continue this beef. There is no reason for them to end this beef. I think Kawhi 2019, I think he was one of the ones that said he was hoping that Lola Vice and maybe Alexa Lopez cheats for Lola Vice so they can continue the feud. There's no reason to end this feud. Let this be a feud, man. Don't just have this be a one match thing. It should be Roxanne Perez beefing with Lola Vice and Electra Lopez for a little while because they were kind of bullying Roxanne. They should have. I think. I think they gave the 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 victory to Roxanne Perez too soon. 
I think I would have did. I would have without making Roxanne Perez look bad. I would have just had Alexa Lopez help Lola Vice to get the victory. That way, you, you could continue this. Roxanne tries to figure out how to beat down Lola Vice and Alexa Lopez. I think it just would have been simple storytelling right there. So that's a, that's the one thing that I didn't like about this was that they let Roxanne Perez win. Uh, and earn it without Alexa Lopez even getting in there and doing whatever. So, because if they continue the feud, well, now it's like, okay, was Lola, Lola, Lola Vice and Alexa Lopez really a real threat to Roxanne Perez? You know what I mean? The fact that she got a victory in her first first chance. I mean, so I don't know, man. I, I think they could have went in a different direction. But because I believe in HBK's booking, I'm going to say that I'm going to wait for it to see how this turns out. I'm going to wait to see how it turns out because I've been wrong a lot before on NXT with how things turn out. And they turn out just fine if you just be a little bit patient. So, I'm going to see how it goes. But, but for right now, I don't know about this decision, man. Uh, but we're going to talk about Roxanne Perez and uh, Becky Lynch next. We're going to talk about how they win in the locker room. But go ahead and get this video. Like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. After dues, the like.